What's up guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the dynamics in uh, Cinema 4D and um, some of the issues that you will run across. Um, I know for me personally, um, I was having an issue with uh, some jittering, like when uh, uh, you break an object it jitters around and won't stop moving and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to fix that. Um, if you hear a bunch of noise in the background, I apologize. It's raining really hard outside. You might hear some thunder as well. So uh, just bear with me. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit play on this. And you'll see everything breaks, but it won't stop jittering. Now, there's a couple things we can do. Um, first one is Control D. And we'll bring up the project settings. Go to Dynamics. Um, steps per keyframe. Um, I'm going to crank this up to, I don't know, about 8. And then maximum solver iterations per step, I'm going to bring that up to about 15. Now, you'll notice this slows it down a bit, but you also notice the jittering should be gone, which it is. And um, if you notice, you know, for the most part, it's not coming through the floor. It looks like it is a tad, but... Um, let me show you how it looked before. Control D, Dynamics. Let's go ahead and bring these both down again. Um, watch it now. Look at that. It goes right through the floor. So, um, yeah. Go ahead and crank those up. And uh, that should pretty well take care of it. It will slow it down a bit, but um, it's better than having a really horrible looking uh, jitter. Um, the other thing you can do is you can go into these dynamics here and um, um, shape, make it um, convex hull. That tends to be a little bit better. Um, I don't know that you're, it'll really make too much a difference once you, once you uh, turn up the, uh, I can't even think of the name at the moment. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, steps per keyframe and maximum solver iterations per step. Once you turn that stuff up, um, convex hull probably won't make a big difference, but uh, sometimes it can. So, anyway, guys, this is a quick tutorial. Hopefully, it'll help you guys. I know for me, the whole jittering thing was a big issue. And um, so, anyway, guys, apologize about the thunder and rain outside if you can hear it. And uh, I'm out of here. Peace.